right, now I'm using the beat step to control uh, SEMV via USB on the side here. And uh, I'm sure that's all nice. And it's kind of weird to use pads to control the synth, but you can. But having 16 knobs to control it's a different thing. Now, we've got the sequencer. Now while the sequencer is running, I can actually go back into the control mode. So, it's a lot of fun to be able to have some nice hands-on control. Go back into the sequencer. One other way to use your beat steps is using it with an iPad. I've simply got the camera connection kit. We've got a USB cable, and now I can uh, I can run different apps. Okay, so we've got a drum kit within uh, GarageBand. And so I can uh, simply put, put it in record. So, there, you're playing. And I can do all kinds of great patterns and stuff on it. And that's probably a new hit record right there. Okay, so I showed you the GarageBand example. Now uh, we'll run it with iMini. You can also run with iSim. And uh, if you go into the Connect section, you see that it shows up in there. If we look in the MIDI Learn, I've already got some things that are assigned here. So, I've got my knobs assigned to where I like them. I've got Attack, Decay, Sustain, Attack, Decay, Sustain. I've got the Delay Amount, the Chorus Amount. Um, so I can do some stuff like that, but I can also then go in and use the Sequence Mode. So it's that simple. And I can jump back and forth between control mode. So, there you go using the iPad with the iMini with the beat step.